Hi, I'm Donna Wolf from Nastasia.com. Today, I'll show you how to read a crochet symbol chart. Symbol charts are read either in rows, back and forth, or in rounds for a hat. The first thing to check is see if there's a legend, which shows the stitches. This is a chain. This symbol is for a slip stitch. Next symbol is for a single crochet. Single crochet stitches might be a plus sign or sometimes they form an X instead. This is a half double crochet symbol. When you see it, you make a half double crochet. And finally, this is a double crochet. Where you see this symbol, make a double crochet. For this example, we'll do a single crochet chart. If you look at the first bottom line, it starts off with 10 chains. Now, our first row starts off with a chain one, and we go with a single crochet into the second chain. And we make a single crochet stitch over each one of those starting chains, as indicated by the plus sign above each of the chains. So there are 10 of them once we are completed. And you can see how the chart also looks like my sample. Now for row two, we're going to start off by chaining one and turning our work. You can see by the blue line that indicates row two. And as before, we're making a single crochet over a single crochet stitch. And this sample looks just like the chart. Next, we'll switch over to a double crochet sample. Again, on the bottom, you will find a series of chains, in this case, 10 chains. And our first row of double crochet requires that we chain three. And if you notice, we also skip that first chain of the base stitch. We actually make our double crochet into the fifth chain from the hook. The chain three forms the first double crochet over the first starting chain. So after the chain three, we'll continue by making nine more double crochet stitches. Now for row two of the chart, if you notice, we start with the chain three and we turn our work. In this case, the chain three starts as the first double crochet. So we place our next double crochet in both the chart and the sample in the second double crochet stitch. And we continue on following the chart and match the pattern. Now sometimes crochet charts will be a little bit more complicated. But if you look at the three double crochet stitches I'm making in the chain here, then you can see it's followed by a chain one. We skip two chains on the base chain and make a double crochet in the last chain. If you slowly read through the chart and figure out what are the chains and single crochet and double crochet, you should be able to do pretty much any pattern. Now, when working in the round, our charts are a little different. We start from the center and work outward. In this case, we're going to chain four and make a slip stitch to the first chain. Now for round one, if you take note on the top, there's a chain three. And now within the four chains, we're going to, if you count, make 11 more double crochet stitches. I'm sure you are familiar with the chain three counting as the first double crochet. So there will be a total of 12 in the end. As indicated by the little dot, do a slip stitch. Now for row two, it looks a little complicated, but if you read the chart, you'll see it starts with the chain three and we make a double crochet in the same stitch as the chain three. Now I'm going to eliminate some of the stitches on the chart to make it easy to see. If you look at the chart, you can see that all it is is two double crochet stitches in each double crochet from round one. And if you've ever made hats or anything in the round, this is a common practice. So you'll continue with two double crochet stitches around. These are just some of the basic tips and techniques for both rows and rounds in crochet. Thanks so much for watching my video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified of new videos from me each week. 
And if you liked the video you just watched, be sure to check out my next video, which I think you'll like very much.